If you're affected by the government's benefits cuts, then you may be entitled to receive £150 per month in cost of living payments from the Department for Work and Pensions, DWP. In this video, we'll explain how to apply for the DWP cost of living payment and what to expect during the application process. We'll also provide a step-by-step -step guide on how to claim the payment, so that you know everything you need to know in order to receive your £150 monthly cost of living allowance from the DWP. Before we start the video, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe our channel for upcoming updates by UK governments and other very interesting content on various topics. The Department for Work and Pensions, DWP, has explained the unexpected arrival of £150 cost of living payments in some people's bank accounts. Benefits claimants were left confused when the cash dropped into their accounts earlier than anticipated. Five new cost of living payments are due to go into people's accounts during the next financial year which starts on April 6. The Department for Work and Pensions this week announced that the first of those, a £301 payment for people on means-tested benefits, will arrive between April 25 and May 17. According to the DWP, this first payment will go to those who met the criteria during the qualifying dates of January 26 to February 25. During this cut-off period, people must have received a payment of one of the eligible benefits or, in the case of universal credit, have had an assessment period ending. But some people this week reported that they had received a £150 cost of living payment into their accounts. A payment of this amount is to be given this summer to those on disability benefits so the unexpectedly early cash drop caused considerable confusion. However, the DWP has sought to clarify the payments, which had been marked in their accounts as DWP called to signify cost of living. A DWP spokesperson told Mirror Money that the department regularly reviews people's entitlements to make sure they receive the correct payments. If people were identified as being retrospectively entitled to September 2022's disability cost of living payment then the department will make the payment. Someone could be found to be entitled to it due to a change of benefit circumstances or a request for backdating when their claim is processed. Someone could be found to be entitled to it due to a change of benefit circumstances or a request for backdating when their claim is processed. A spokesperson for the DWP said, the DWP regularly reviews people's entitlements to ensure they receive the correct payments. In this case, people were identified who were retrospectively entitled to September 2022's disability cost of living payment. This could be due to a change of benefit circumstances or a request for backdating when their claim is processed. We undertake these exercises periodically even if the claimant did not contact us to inform us of a missing payment. Meanwhile, millions of households will receive £301 from the DWP between Tuesday, April 25th, and Wednesday, May 17th, the first of the three 2023-24 cost of living payments totalling up to £900 for means-tested benefits claimants. Additional £150 disability payments and £300 pensioner payments due later this year mean some people will receive up to £1,350. The benefits eligible for the disability cost of living payment are attendance allowance, constant attendance allowance, disability living allowance for adults, disability living allowance for children, personal independence payment, adult disability payment. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video will be helpful for you. Please subscribe our channel for more interesting videos and please don't forget like, share and comment. Thank you.